Hey guys, today's video is gonna be a makeup haul. I have a ton of things that I have recently acquired. First thing I'm gonna talk about is these e.l.f. products. So this is what the Math for Palette looks like. Um, I love it. I Okay, so there's a rule for haul videos, which I have broken. The rule is that if you do a haul, then you're supposed to film a video before you try anything. I couldn't help myself, so please forgive me because I have opened most of the e.l.f. products and I have tried them. Um, my sister has been raving about this Mac for Matte palette and not just my sister but like a lot of people on YouTube rave about this. They say that it, the colors are really amazing, really pigmented and yes they are. And this is only $10. It is so worth it. I have a Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral palette. This thing is 20 bucks and let's look at the color selection, okay? They're not exactly the same, they're not, but they are really, really similar. This looks a little more warm to me, just like from a quick glance, but, and I mean, they do have different colors, but if you want like a neutral kind of matte, matte palette, I would go for this one because this is only 10 bucks, whereas this is 20. I love this Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral palette. I use it all the time, but, this is also really good stuff and it's half the price. And I really always wanted to buy this golden bronzer mostly because the mirror broke off. Because it's just like summery and golden. And then there's this little brightening thing that I already showed. I mean the colors on here are pigmented. I'm going to be using this. I just haven't played with it yet because I honestly have a million eyeshadows. This contour brush, which I already own. Also got the Makeup Mist and Set. The thing that sucks about this is that, I mean, it doesn't really like spray. Like you have to hold it really far from your face not to get like a stream of spray like in one spot of your face. I don't really use this to spray it on my face. I spray it on my brush and then stipple my foundation that way. Um, also, I bought this lip exfoliator from e.l.f. because I heard this is, this is really amazing. And it smells so good. I don't even know what it smells like. Cookie dough or something. So I've only tried it once so far and I really liked it. It kind of hurts a little bit like if you go crazy like exfoliating exfoliating your lips but this has really good ingredients in it I don't have the box anymore because obviously I told you I broke my rules so I threw away the box but it has things like shea butter and maybe coconut oil I don't even know honestly but this is good stuff it's only three bucks go get it also I bought this elf obviously everything I'm talking about is elf so high definition under eye setting powder the reason I bought another one of these is I already own one but the first one that I ever bought was like an older formula that had kind of like specks of glitter in it and I still liked it and I recommended it to my sister but when she got it they had reformulated this powder. Um, it's just like a really finely milled under eye setting powder. They took away the glitters from it essentially. So when she bought it and it didn't have glitters in it I was like hold up let me I didn't want to buy another one because I already had one, but when I placed this order, I put this in my cart because I wanted to see if like, maybe she just got like a weird one. No, they took the glitters out of them. So this is an amazing, amazing under eye setting powder for just three bucks. Another thing that I heard was really good is a daily brush cleanser. This is exactly what it sounds like. You spray it on your brush right after you use it. You dab it on like a towel or whatever. It smells really good. You, you clean your brush that way. That way, like, you're, it's not building up bacteria and it's supposed to dry really fast and all that junk. You can clean your brush right after you use it. You just spray it and dab it on a towel and then it's supposed to dry, like, really fast or instantly or whatever. I don't know how that works. That sounds like magic. Um, maybe it has a lot of alcohol in it or something like that. Next thing that I've always, always wanted to try from e.l.f. is this, um... Prism shadow in the color Naked. Now, they, this is not anything new to e.l.f., but this has been around for a long time and I just had never purchased it, so when I placed that order, I threw that in my cart. I am so, so happy that I did because these shadows are incredible. Incredible. This is very comparable to the 
um, Urban Decay Naked Palette. I mean, obviously they're not the same thing, but they have similar colors. The only thing that this e.l.f. palette is lacking is matte shades, but like, look. I mean, you could get like a kind of similar look if you wanted. This costs $10, this costs $50, but this is worth $20 and $30 because this stuff is so good. I honestly, like, <clears throat> I did an eye look with this and I couldn't believe the pigmentation that is, that this little $10 eyeshadow palette is putting out. I cannot, like, I don't know how they did it, but they did an incredible job with it. Next thing I'm going to share is this Instant Lift Brow Pencil in the color Neutral Brown. This is kind of like the Anastasia Brown Wiz. The Anastasia Brow Wiz. It has a spoolie on one end and then the waxy like thing on the other. You just like do your brows and then fix it with the spoolie and it's actually worked out really well for me. So I really like that. Um, this is a mineral powder brush. I wanted to try it because it said mineral on it. But um, it's tur it turns out this is way too small for my liking for powder. So I use it kind of to like contour. I mean, obviously you can apply powder with it, whatever. Then the last couple of things I got are another shadow lock eyelid primer. I did not open this. And another eyebrow kit because this is like a holy grail product for me, honestly. And I'm running low on the one that I have now. So I wanted to stock up on this so that when I run out, um, I can just shop from my own stash, if you know what I'm saying. This is a Maybelline Full and Soft. I have talked about this in quite a few of my videos. This is a Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection in Desert F Festival. And I have done a look with this and it's really, really nice. These I bought a while ago and I have already like shared these in my Instagram, but I have not talked about these in my videos. These are the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks. I got two shades, um, Rio and K Ma um, Kathleen Light's Miami Fever because this color is like pumpkin spice in a little tube and it's beautiful. And the formula on these for a liquid lipstick, I heard that are really, really, really amazing. Personally, these are my first two liquid lipsticks that I've ever owned, so I have nothing else to compare to. I don't have any of the Anastasia ones or anything like that, but these are amazing. Like I said, I don't have any anything to compare them to, but these are really good. They kind of go on like a mousse consistency and they dry to a matte um, formula. Really, really good. Uh, I did go by a tragic item from Wet n Wild and this is like the first thing from Wet n Wild. No, I bought two things that are not good. Because I was trying to go on the lipstick, liquid lipstick bandwagon thing, I decided I would give this Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Lip Color in the shade Red My Mind a go. If this had a big wand, you could go paint your lawn chair with this because this is literally like paint. You apply this to your lips and it does not come off. Like you have to put on Vaseline and let it soak, let your lips soak the Vaseline and then scrape this thing with a cotton swab or something to get this thing off. I don't know if I need to first apply a red lip liner and then put this on top and then I can make this work but the way that I put it, it looked I could not make this look pretty, essentially is what I'm saying, like as far as long lasting and not transferring on your lips, it is good, but it is too good in the sense that it does not come off. So if you mess up, honestly, you're just going to look like someone played a prank on you and painted your lips with red paint while you were passed out drunk or something. It's, mm -hmm. don't go buy it. The next thing that kind of sucked from Wet n Wild that I'm really sad about because I love Wet n Wild but is this Mega Plump Waterproof Mascara. As soon as I took it out of the tube I realized, okay look at that. Look, look. What is that? I mean I've had this for a while but I've opened the tube maybe twice and as soon as I took it out of the tube I realized mm, this isn't going to work for me and then I thought maybe I should try to like brush it on my eyelashes anyways to see if it works. It was like nothing. Like there's nothing that was coming off of the wand so that sucked. 
And then I also bought this Scandal, this Rimmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof Mascara because honestly the tube is so bright and pretty that it made me want to buy it. And it came with this scandalized waterproof cold pencil. So I was like, you know, I wanna try the mascara and it comes with a black eyeliner, sold. I bought it, then I took it out of the tube and I was like, oh yes, it's gonna work. And then I opened the, I opened this mascara maybe twice and I don't know if this is gonna focus on the wand. It's not, it's just gonna keep focusing on my face. This formula is way too wet for my eyelashes. Even though it's waterproof, it doesn't work. It doesn't hold a curl with for me. And now that like it's been open for a while, it just looks goopy. That was a dud. Next thing I bought with my sister recently when I went to Ulta is this NYX lipstick. But it's just like this kind of tube. And it's called Talia and it's really beautiful. It's kind of like a, let me swatch it for you on my hand. It's like a, my kind of color, it's like a nudie, pinky, brownie, on the warm side kind of color. And yeah, it's called Talia, it's beautiful. I actually saw this on Pinterest a long time ago and I thought, I have to have that. Oh, I never swatched this posh lip color. This is also really nice, so I'm going to show you. It's more on the sheer side and it's, that's what it looks like right here. And it's really beautiful. And it was it was in that Marsala co collection that I was talking about. 